Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to go over the uh, the replated hardware that I just got back from the platers. And if you recall in a previous video, I showed the hardware before I took it to the platers. And you can see here uh, the yellow, the black, and the bright zinc. Um, I had them all separated into separate carriers. And so I just got that stuff back and I wanted to share with you the results. So here we have all the bags of the different plating that I had done. So we got, we got the black zinc here. which you can see, it turned out really nice. And then we have the yellow zinc here, which really looks nice. I mean, if you were to have to buy all these things brand new from Honda, you would spend literally tens of thousands of dollars you know, probably ten, twelve thousand dollars worth of parts here, at least. I, I mean, each bike I do, if I order brand new nuts and bolts and washers and so on from Honda, you know, I end up spending anywhere from one to two thousand dollars. So, I have I had all of this plated for about six hundred and fifty dollars. So. I mean, all of the kickstand springs, and I'm sure you know how crusty and rusty they get. Uh, just all of the nuts and bolts, and I mean, here's some exhaust collars that look brand new. All of the uh, yellow zinc uh, nuts and bolts that the bikes had in various different places. Uh, here again is goes on the one of the kickstand springs, and these get all totally corroded. And then on the on the black, you know, you have all of the uh, air cleaner and intake bands, and you know, go buy new ones of these and see how much they run you. You know, they're four, five, six bucks a piece or maybe more. And I took them to the platers and, and I even left the screws in them. And they just cleaned them all right up with the screws left in there and everything. And then on the, on the uh, bright zinc, Again, these are intake bands that go on your earlier bikes. Like I think this one's for a 750 Honda, which I have a number of those bikes. Um, you know, these, these go on the bottom of the engine where you have all the drain tubes that go through there and these get totally corroded and ugly looking. You know, you have all the the different bolts, axle nuts, virtually every Honda during the 70s and 80s had this type of an axle bolt. You know, again, all of these I mean, I'm dropping them all on the floor. You know, these exhaust collars, again, you know, they're, they're expensive when you buy them if they're still available in some cases. So now, you know, I've always wanted to organize them in such a fashion. So I bought I bought all these dividers from Harbor Freight 
and you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna put these in the different drawers of of uh, this one toolbox that I'm gonna devote to all of the nuts and bolts and you know I have to go through the task of you know separating all these out and putting certain nuts and bolts in certain locations uh, based on their size and their measurements and then when I need to go and get that particular bolt then I know where they are and again you know I have both the bolts from the from the 80s and the 70s like this one right here goes to a 750 Honda and then you have all the different um, engine case screws that came on the 750 Hondas I just have literally hundreds of them here in these bags and it's just gonna take me forever to sort these out but it'll be fun because you know it's like Christmas it's brand new brand new stuff you know these are these are the Allen Allen bolts that come on 750 Honda or I'm sorry CBX's and uh, 750 900 1100 F bikes this is a bright zinc one which comes mostly on CBX's and 750 and 900 F's and then the uh, you know I have the same thing for the 1100 F you know I have any number of those you know allen bolts that came black on the uh, seven on the 1100 F bikes so it took took me quite a while to sort all this stuff out and get everything categorized in the different uh, plating color that I wanted but as you can see it turned out that it worked out I mean I don't know if you can really see how big this bag is and it weighs probably 25 pounds but that that is a lot of nuts and bolts and washers and brackets and everything under the sun and I have two of the bags of just the bright stuff and again here's the bag of the black stuff I mean it's just I, I, I couldn't possibly put a price tag on how much it would cost to buy this stuff new these are the uh, latches for the CBX the seat latches and I just gave them to them raw like this and you know they were plated from the factory originally so so now it's like I have brand new ones same way with the again the, the Allen bolts you know the I gave these to them and they were all rusty crusty faded and my previous video I showed you know me dipping all of these in muriatic acid but actually it worked out that I didn't even have to do that they they accepted them the way that they were all rusty and crusty and everything so um, again the 1100 F bikes came with black uh, kickstand springs so again I have a whole bunch of those now so anyway I'm very happy with the results so uh, you know if you guys can find a local place to to do your plating um, it really saves you a lot of money from having to buy all this stuff brand new from Honda so I will commence to 
separating all this stuff out and getting it all categorized and everything, which is going to be a task. So, again, I even had the, uh, the brake bolts done, you know, brake line bolts with the, you know, again, these bolts cost a few dollars a piece. So, and you have to replace them on literally every bike you restore. Kickstand bolt, same thing. So, anyway, I will continue to get these all sorted. And uh, that's going to take me a while. So, two hours later, I have everything sorted. So, I have the black zinc, the yellow zinc, and the bright zinc. So, basically, I don't have everything 100% uh, sorted yet. You know, like, for instance, I kind of put all the flat washers together, all the springs together, and so on. And, uh, you know, I may or may not leave it like this. I may sort them by size and so on. But, uh, you know, we'll see. That would take up a lot more cubbies than this is. So each one of these trays now will, you know, go into drawers in my toolbox. So all of this stuff is mainly CBX, 900F, 1100F, and CB750 Honda. But uh, most of it is probably CBX stuff and 1100F. So as you can see, there's about 20 years of restoration hardware here. Pretty cool. So that's going to do it for this video. And now that I've got all the hardware back, I can start to rock and roll on these uh, two CBXs and get them finished. So uh, if you like the videos, um, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with anybody who might be interested. So uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.